Hello, welcome to Chess Prime. As part of this video, we are going to see how to create React.js simple Hello World application and then how to deploy this application into Google Cloud, specifically into App Engine, right? So, so these are the things we are going to see. So creating simple React.js application and we will try to deploy that into Google Cloud App Engine. And as part of this deployment process, we are going to use this set of commands. So react.js simple application I have already created. I already committed into Bitbucket. So you can use the same app application and try to use the rest of the commands so that you can able to deploy this application into Google Cloud yourself as well. So without wasting the time, so let's start this process. So I have already a Google Cloud account, free account. So I'm trying to use it in case if you don't have it, you can try to create your own account. Okay. So I have already Google Cloud account. So I already logged in it directly. So the first step what I'm going to do it. So I'm going to create a, a new project. If you have any already existing project, you can use it just for this demo purpose. I'm trying to create a new project. So that is called as a just prime it's not mandatory you have to create but if you have already existing project you can use it so basically i'm trying to create a new project called just prime and then create so just need to wait for a couple of seconds once the project is created so then we can start using it Yes, now the project is created you can see it just now and then select the project which one you are trying to use it so i'm going to select the project which is got created just now just frame and you can see they recently got uh, recently created a project selected now go back to admin console uh, terminal so terminal so here we are going to execute this set of commands <coughs> so the first command like i said right so we have already i have already created a re simple react js application and then committed into bitbucket so this is the url i am going to use it to clone the application into my google cloud environment so for this you just need to execute this command git clone and give your own bitbucket repository and then press enter so the download is completed so you can see here <coughs> so basically i have downloaded the my entire repository into gcp folder now i need to move into the gcp and inside that i have a, my own project react js app engine so need to move inside that so now you are into inside your react.js project so if you see here there is a simple src content and on log public package.json and app app yml so this is the additional file i have created apart from simple react.js application if you want to see the app yml i can show you so because we have to understand this one before deploying our application so gcp and inside that app.yml <clears throat> so this is the one which we are going to use it what runtime you have to use it where is your uh, binary or uh, static build files which we need to use to deploy our application into google cloud so the runtime i'm going to use as a node.js 18 version the currently what when i'm trying to create this video so the latest version i can use as node.js 18 so so in case in your case it might be the different so try to use the best version what we have so <clears throat> so now so now you understand the different files these are basic react.js application and app.yml it's mainly we are trying to use the app.yml what and runtime we have to use and what files we have to use to deploy the application into yml so this i have created so i have shown the all other files
files as well so let me show you src content here so if you open here src you can see here simple app.js so here we have a simple very basic component you can see here js prime gcp app engine react js demo so this is the text we are going to see it when we build the application when we access it from the web url right so let me go back here so before deploying the application we have to we have to get the all necessary npm modules so for that i'm going to use yarn install so it will try to download all necessary uh, dependencies so it will take a couple of minutes based on your internet bandwidth uh, just to wait for a couple of minutes then you can see the another folder called node modules so which will be downloaded once this command execution completed so right now we don't have any npm model so we just need to wait so after that once this supporting modules are available then we have to build our project so by using the supporting model and then your src code so then we will be getting a build folder so before executing this command so you can see here so here if you see your app engine app ym.ml so here you can see the all the static files we are referring from the build folder so how so so far this build file is not there if you observe closely so this build file will be created once we have to execute the yarn build then we will be getting this <coughs> this folder so that for inside the folder all the static files will be copied so we'll be executing the run build command so now we can see here additional folder will be created so node modules is created the previously the node modules which was not there only yml package json public readme all those things is there now additional folder node model got created or inside that all necessary dependency folders are available so you can see all those things babel roll roll up so that is the supporting modules it got downloaded so now what we have to do we have to compile our project for that you have to use run run build so all these commands are available inside the video description you can take it so now it will try to create a folder called build inside that it will try to uh, <coughs> copy all necessary files images and javascripts into build folder so that we are going to use it for our deployment purpose see here now build folder is copied so here you can see all the static content and the uh, J json files so it's available so this we are going to use it so json files J javascript files and all necessary supporting css are copied into in a minified version so if you open these files any of the files you can see it's a minified version it's like a plain english but still it's well well defined formatted by removing all spaces so this we are going to use it for deployment purpose so finally we are going to use only build file we don't need rest of the things right now except app yml so <clears throat> now your build file is ready your app yml is ready so we have to use now gcloud command so we have to use gcloud app deploy command gcloud app deploy so this is the command we are going to use it uh, to deploy your application into cloud by using app.yml so gcloud app app <coughs> deploy and then press enter so you can agree it so here we need to select some of the uh, region so i am going to use it us east one so you can select as per your wish I just selected us east one the eight corresponding number is 18 so in your case it might be the different so you can select whichever reason you are interested so here again the selection we have to do so it will try to use <coughs> project 
whichever project you want so you can able to select here also so it will try to display all the projects by default it will try to use the just frame in case if you are interested because I am already in just frame so it will try to use it in case if you want to use some different projects like a test so you just need to select the test folder a test project and it will try to use that one but it will try to display all necessary uh, current project related details so so basically before coming to this deploy you need to select the, uh, the right project which you want to deploy your application into that particular project app engine okay before executing this one now let me open app engine so inside the app engine right now let me go to project got created right now we don't have any services if you see here still services are empty right so it is trying to create the services so it will take a couple of minute so once the service creation is done so here we can see the services so what are the static files we have got created right so all the static files will be up uploaded into <coughs> our bucket so that we are going to see it cloud storage so basically these files need to be there somewhere in the cloud so these files will be uploaded into the a static bucket or your buckets if you see here right so here it got created some of the buckets and inside that these files got up uploaded so these are the files it got created and you can see the time 632 so it's these files got created just now so we just need to wait for uh, couple of minutes once this upload is completed and then it will create a service inside your app engine so then you can start using it so basically all the static files javascript images are copied into the storage bucket and the reason is reason is whichever the reason you have selected so inside the reason it will be copied so now we can see your service is completed creation completed now let me go to app engine and let me verify services it will create a service and it will try to create a version for you you just need to wait for some time then you can see that one so meanwhile you can browse the services from the this command and paste it here yes if you see here so your service got created and your URL is ready made <coughs> it's readily available to use you just click this one so you can able to see your content just from map engine react js demo so this is the way you can able to create your website by deploying react js application into app engine and the corresponding files will be uploaded into into your cloud storage cloud bucket this will create a, a cloud bucket and all those files will be uploaded into specific reason which your reason you have selected here so in this case i have selected 18 18 is us east one if you see here the location it got selected us east one so this will be selected based on your reason selection so all the files will be copied into that particular location you can see all the files content image text json all those things so this is the way you can able to create your simple react js application and build it download all necessary dependencies build it and you can use the g cloud app deploy command and it will upload or create your react js application into app engine so this is the way you can able to create versions so but it will take some time to reflect into the ui so you can but still you can see with this command g cloud app browse so it will display all your services and corresponding urls so you just click this URL 
and it will display your URL with the necessary app.js content so this is the way you can able to deploy your react.js application into google cloud and you have the full choice of selection region and the project right so this is the way you can able to create the react.js application and deploy into google cloud and if you like the video you can subscribe to the channel for more subsequent updates and thank you thanks for your time